feel really warm. And let's get started. And let's get started by coming all the way down to the mat. Take an easy seated position of your choice. Is it dark at your end? It's definitely dark at my end. It's the intonation of speakers. Yeah. Move all the way up to the top. Exhale, let those hands right all the way down. And again, let's take it all the way up. Exhale, let those hands right all the way down. And we're going to take a floating mind read. Take it over. And bring it back. And take it up. And then bring it back. We're just floating from one side to the other. Just let your eyes back shut. Just blow with your breath in. Your breath out. And then come back to stillness. Let's stack that spine tall. Let's put the head right back on top of the ship. Shoulders. Knees over to the shoulders. Have a little wiggle. Let's let that tension go. It's just resting in the lap. And from here, we're just going to let that head melt down into the chest. And let it hang. Spine is tall, head is hanging. And next time we exhale, we're going to curl that head round to stack the ear on top of that shoulder. So we can see it here as we breathe in. As we breathe out, take that one. Big smile with the nose up to the other shoulder. And we take another breath. Exhale, make the smile. As we in, stack. And bring the head all the way back, stack it on top of the spine. Let the shoulders release down, maybe they crunch a bit, maybe they don't do it. Let's go bring the palms forward. And we're going to exhale, put your palms behind to the knees. Bring it back up. And then come back. And bring it back up. So we're just alternating. Two more. Hands fabulous. Let's take a dive onto our knees into that tabletop position. Fabulous. And this morning we're feeling inspired by a little rotisserie cat in the hand. You can arch your spine up. Flip it over. Arch your spine down. Get put your crop. Bring it up. All the way over. And down. Take it back to neutral center all the way back to that child's pose. Stretch the arms out of the way. Wider the arms, but less pinch those in the shoulders for any issues in that respect. Take the right arms and that might work for the heart. It's 
Inhale. Pull it. Exhale, send it back. And so we just want to those hands slightly further in advance of this. We're going to inhale, take it forward, just that gentle stretch forward. You can still keep your knees, hips, and shoulders in line. We've not dipped our tummy. Exhale. And then inhale, take it forward. Still keeping that straight line. Exhale, send it back. And this time as we inhale, we're going to bring that knee up. And see how it feels. I'm going to turn slightly on a bit. You can see. Okay, actually, I'll do the other side. That's easier. <laughs> Fabulous from here. Slightly like rock and roll. I've got the squishy floor board. Let me sit back and move off now. So we're moving around just slightly backwards and forwards, seeing how it all feels. Just seeing if you're holding, tucking the feathers under, holding it up through the back, can you lengthen that spine so the spine is long? Okay, so I'm not tilting that pelvis underneath me, and it's maybe pushing it away from us. Okay, we're going to take that foot out to about 45 degrees. Okay, toes are out. And again, we're just going to rock and bring it back. Taking that rock. Just blowing with the breath. Inhale, the exhale pushes us away. Inhale, you see? And push it away. Fabulous. Bring the hand close to that foot. We're going to reach it up to the sky. And bring it down. Kick off. Yes. And we're going to take that leg out to 90 degrees. So we are now exactly like that. Yep. I gave thumbs up. Inhale, exhale, we reach the other. Press into that heel. Back the earth. We're going to bring the hand all the way down, take the other hand up. All the way over, supported side plank. The head, hand drops over the head. Of course, we get a long cross stretch. We take the arm up. We get more of a chest opening. So as with everything, choose what feels good for you this morning. Bring that hand all the way down. We're going to put it on the knees. We're going to send it back into that child's pose. I just put it to the where it happens to be. Let that breath flow in. And let that breath flow out. And One more breath in. And then again, we're going to rise. Get up. Brilliant. Okay, okay. Let's take the other leg forward. And we've got that change we're walking around. Come forward, go back. It all feels okay. And then I'm just going to turn this way so you can see. We're going to take that leg out to 45 degrees. Yeah. We've just got the movement through there. When the hand closes that hook, go in, take it up. And then we take it up. Rocking it through. And then we're going to take it all the way out to 90 degrees. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Fabulous. Inhale. Exhale. 
pressing through that heel, driving yourself back. Remember, we're just moving to wherever feels good. Okay, at the end of this breath, we're going to take that flow backwards into that supported side plank. Hand reaches in the air or all the way over. Yeah. I'm going to turn around so I can have my back to you. And from there, we're going to wrap perfect down into our table. From our table, we're going to take it into our downward dog. Knees are bent. Heels are lifted. Whoop. I'm ready. Leggings are falling down, or actually, pictures are falling down. <laughs> Why are we wearing leggings at the back most of the time? Back from Sundays, Sundays are a PJ okay? Let's walk it forward. Is that flow. We're hanging forward, forward. Take that gentle sway. Head to side. Fold the arms, get the head to the relax. And have the little bit inhale, bring your hands onto our thighs. Supported flat back, let's cap and care of spine. One of my favorite moves this one. Stretch it out. Really good. Stretch it out. Up and there, I'll rise it all the way up. Mountain. And we're just going to pad the feet from one foot to the other. Eyes are closed. Let's shake out some of that tension from the shoulders. And let's come to stillness over all four corners of our feet. And just see where your weight is shifted to. Can we take that weight center? Over the heels, over the balls. In. Now let's check in where that breath is going to be. Off your shoulders, can we go for our ribs? Can we keep it in that tummy of ours? Breathe in, that tummy is going to move, it's going to expand on the breath. As we breathe out, we contract down. Happy this. From here, we're going to inhale. Angel with the hands all the way up, overhead, arms to touch. Exhale, bring the hands down, the heart center. Inhale, nodding the nose to the sky. Exhale, nodding that nose all the way down, forehead to fingertip. And again, let's take it all the way up to the sky. Bring it down, forehead to fingertip. One more time, so you get all the way down. Hands rain down, interlace those fingers behind it, stretch those palms, to, sorry, knuckles to the floor. And inhale, stretch the nose to the sky. And then we're going to exhale, curl it all the way down into our chest. And then this is fine, push the F1. Let your eyes close, your arms to up high, and your arms to the it feels good. Great, right, we're coming back to stillness. And let's gently take that spine all the way down into that forward form. 
feet are hanging down, and of the hands. Let's step it back, seat down the job. Reaching the tail feathers up. Let's bring the knees all the way down. We're going to take it in to our thread the needle in. Reach for the sky. We're going to float for three. Tap it through. Bring it back up. Tap it through. Bring it back up. This time we're going to take it all the way through. The head comes down to the ground. Arm can stay by the nose. It can reach the top of the mat or it can wrap all the way around. Your choice, your body, whatever works for you. Try not to get smothered by the jumper here. As we go through, it through. Today, I'm feeling the hand by the nose, not just a pressure. Just opening up behind the shoulder blades a little better for me this one. And here we're going to levitate and we'll send our side bones back. Move the two arms closed. We've got two breath cycles in the air. And then we're going to get down. To our table, let's take our thread, the needle to the other side, let's reach high. Let's take it through. Free flow, definitely stiff on the side, reach up. And again, reach up. Run it all the way through. To the palm. The hand that's out long is facing the sky. We're sending the weight backwards up into our tail feathers. Okay, so we're not weight sort of down onto our head, but maybe you can lift your head into a cushion onto a clock to help send that weight backwards. There's less pressure up here as we're looking for that opening behind the shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. yes. Fabulous. One more breath in here. I'm going to unravel and then send it forward. So we get back. Okay, come all the way down. We'll hit the mat, hands down by the shoulders. Let's inhale, exhale, lift up into that little baby cobra. There's no weight on the hands, we're just lifting. And the head, the neck is long, so we're not going to grip the neck. The nose is still facing the floor. Release it all the way down. Fabulous. We'll stick it up. And again, into that little baby cobra. Hands are under the shoulders, beginning to come off the ground, help us out in the cycle. We're just lifting that upper body. And then we sit down. Happy four more times. Inhale, exhale. Lift into that floating cobra. Breath is normal. The weight in the hands. Others are closer to the shoulders. Let's release the head all the way down to the ground. Fabulous. From here, we're going to take the long legs up onto our backs. Great. Coming into Apazan, I'm going to hook those knees into our body. Look, moving around our spine a bit. Hopefully, as we bring these knees in, it should feel a little bit more like it wants to play with us today and take it in the other direction. And these bits can be a little stiff. Taking the left foot down, taking the right foot down. Let's do a little extra. Well, let's buy it up from the sky. And then bring it all the way down. Let's pray, by foot, pray, by foot. And let's take it up. One more time. Let's curl that spine up into that bridge. This time we're going to hold it up here. The 
hands can be down by your sides and gently rest on my hips if you want to. There isn't any weight on the neck. It's into that part of the shoulders. Roll it all the way down. Very, 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 very. And let's take a roll onto our sides. We're going to cradle the head between our hands. Elbows are out in front, heels by our bottom, knees are out. As we exhale, we're going to open the top elbow up and out. So it's a supine twist, but it's coming much higher up the body. Like this. So we're focusing on those knees staying together. So we've anchored the pelvis, we've just taken the twist higher up the body to the upper thoracic area. And let's bring it all the way back. Mm -hmm. And this time we're going to circle that elbow all the way up. Huge elbow. Angel in circle and open it out, keeping those knees where they are. Two breath cycles here. Remember, we're not straining, we're not pushing. We're just exploring what our body wants to do. And bring those elbows all the way back together. Fabulous. And let's lengthen onto our spine and bring ourselves up into Abazan. Taking that little circle. I don't want to take that spine twist to the other side. Oh, can we roll onto that side? We cradle the head as it goes down. We're going to open that elbow. So we're just going to flow for three. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I just realized perfect. I've turned the bottoms on inside out. It's a good stuff, too. Well, that was a good end, wasn't it? Very fabulous. And we're just going to hold it here. We're going to knees it together. You can feel that sort of up in that sort of upper thoracic area. Up at the top of the back. Mid to top. Fabulous. And then bring those elbows back. We're going to circle that elbow all the way out. And open. You might get more range of movement doing it that way. You might not. I think it's different. And then here we're going to continue that roll. Onto our spines, oh, you know, those knees all the way in. Let's circle around the left. Let's circle around to the right. We're going to keep hold of the left knee and extend the right leg all the way out. Opposite hand is going to hold that knee. Other hand. Oh, 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 okay. We're going to take a long legged spine twist. One leg rolls over. Now, where it rolls to, it all depends on you. We want our shoulders. Stay flat to the floor, so this time we're taking rotation from the lower leg. And we're turning your gaze to face the long arm. Gradually, see how long it is. Way up in the air, it's not going to do anything. Up the other knee, back into the abstana. And let's take our one legged explosion with the other side. The leg is long. That is bringing that knee into the chest. Up from here. We're going to take that one leg, long leg. It's a pine twist to the other side. Let that knee roll over. The shoulders are still flat to the floor. Yeah. 
and now let's climb back. Cut that bit before the way across the ankle. Let's check on those knees. Brilliant. Options now. You can cross your ankles, you can grab all of your feet, we can rock and roll all the way up to sitting, or we can roll to a side and press ourselves up to sitting. It is not a right and roll. It's whatever tickles you fancy. And then come into our seated position afterwards. We get into a so Inhale. And if you go right down, we're going to take a little twist to the side. Inhale, nose rises. Exhale. We look at the chin into the chair. Nice. Exhale, we look. A little better. Here. Yeah, let's release to the front. Inhale, take the hands high. Exhale, twist, single twist to the other side. Move your stomach in. Checking that we're still feeling on the low and slow. Raising and releasing to the center. Fabulous, stacking that spine and just passing those eyes closed. Let's just take a moment just to focus on that breath. Breathing in through the nose. Pause. Breathing out. And pause. Breathe in. And pause. Breathe out. And pause. And breath in. And pause. Breath out. Pause. And just let your breath return to its regular rhythm. Maybe a little slow, maybe a bit slow. Back is maybe a bad right open. Uh, I'm going to wish you well for the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, it's peeing down the rain here, so uh, get your boots on and a coat on and enjoy a wet walk outside. And I will see you later in the week for a Monday evening restorative yoga. We'll be using cushions, blocks, and resting and relaxing. Take care, again. bye.